start your zine, you're going to do a hamburger fold. A hamburger fold is when it's shorter and wider, and a hot dog fold is when it's long and skinny like a hot dog. So I'm going to start with my hamburger fold, matching up the corners as best as I can, holding it down and sliding my finger down to the bottom, making it nice and crisp. I'm going to open up that hamburger fold. Now I have this book, that middle fold. I'm going to fold the side into the middle like this. Match it up to the fold and press down nice and crisp. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Bring it into the middle. Using my nail to flatten that fold nice and crisp so that I'm left with a double door, kind of looks like closet doors. I'm gonna open it up and now I have four skinny rectangles going up and down. I'm gonna do a hot dog fold because we want eight sections. So a fold in half and a hot dog fold nice and skinny rectangle. Then I open it up and I have four rectangles at the top and four rectangles at the bottom. I'm going to make another hamburger fold in half. After I've done my hamburger fold, I am ready to cut. So on my fold in half, you see that there is a plus sign with my folds. I'm going to cut from the closed side of my folded paper. The fold is at the bottom. I'm going to cut in the middle up to this horizontal line. And then I'm going to stop when I get to the cross section. So I'm left with these papers that look like pants. Okay, I'm going to open it up one more time. And I have this little gap now. I'm going to do a hot dog fold again, long and skinny. I'm going to stand it up so it's like a tent. And this is where I'm going to hold each side and squish into the middle. And it's going to start to create a plus sign. You may have to flatten it and squish it down, top and the bottom, to make a plus sign and then flatten down your pages. So let me do that again. I started with the hot dog fold. My fold is at the top. I grab the two sides and squish into the middle to make a plus sign. I'm gonna flatten each page. Now number your pages. On the very front page, I put an F for the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a B for the back page. So now when I open it up and draw my scene, I will know what page I'm working on. After folding and cutting, you are ready to start your zine. You can draw and color with markers, colored pencils, or crayons, or you can collage and cut out paper scraps or magazine pictures to decorate your zine. Remember that each of you have a unique and valuable voice, and the beautiful thing about zines is that this form of art can allow you to share that voice. Whether that be something you teach us how to do, something you show us in pictures, or a story you want to tell, I'm so excited to see what you create. Have fun!